All right. Hi everyone, welcome to my VOD review for my client. I will leave the link to his description or to his um to his channel in the description. Um, we're going to be VOD reviewing his ranked game, and uh, we we actually played this ranked game together. So, um, so yeah, we we actually played this ranked game together, and we ended up I think. I dropped like 3,000 damage and he dropped like 2,500. So it was a really, really good ranked game. Um, we're going to see what maybe he could, he could have done better, what maybe I could have done better. Um, and we're just going to go over it and do a little VOD review. So um, if you want to see more content from him, check out his channel. I'm going to link it in the description. Um, and let us know what you thought in the comment section. Also, I do do coaching on Fiverr. I will also link that in the description if you want to check out my Fiverr and maybe get a session in with me yourself. Um, yeah. So, first off, he's Jumpmaster. When we're on the ship, we want to start off by looking behind us to see where everyone's going. Um, that's going to help us avoid third parties. As you can see, he's from Australia, so he's playing on 230 ping. So right now I'd prefer if he was looking behind him in the dropship, so just to get an understanding of who's going uh, in what directions, that's going to help us avoid third parties and, uh, and just have an understanding of what's going on around us so that we don't get caught off guard. Um, and then right now as he's flying I'd like to see him free looking a lot more than he is. Once again just to be getting an understanding of what's going on around us. Uh, he's gonna start looting. Blue armor, nice. Okay, um, so we're going to fast forward until we get into our first fight. Because I think everything at this point is pretty basic. Alright, so now we have people in Orbital Cannon. Nice, good shots, good shots. Alright, so uh, pretty basic fight. We can go over it just once more to see uh, what we could have done better. Um, pretty basic. I thought it was really good. Um, one option to improve would have been because, so as he's approaching here, we don't have a Bloodhound, so we don't know where they are. Um, obviously, this Revenant wasn't on comms, like, he was just a random third, so. Um, he probably didn't know, the client probably didn't know um, that we were popping a revolt even. Um, but yeah, we popped the revolt, so it would have been nice if he came and took it with us. Um, doesn't really matter though, um, in this case. Right here, I would have preferred if maybe he looks to take the high ground. <clears throat> so that, um, and just, just sort of be more passive with his angles because um, we don't really know where all three of the opponents are right and so when you don't know where all three people are um, sort of usually it's, it's a better idea to not just go straight in because in in higher level ranked lobbies you're gonna get abused for sort of just walking in there and going after one guy um, before you know where the other three are <clears throat> yeah so right here you see some one guy um, and we're in rough totem so yeah nice perfect but see how, as I said, like when, when you just go after one guy before you know where the other two people are, 
he kind of left himself exposed to this right side angle and he got fried. So um, I would have liked to see him take it slightly slower. Good shots on that guy. Um, and then, yeah, I think he grapples up here. Oh no, he takes a cell. Yeah, he grapples up um, and fries the Gibby, which was good. He's At this point, he's done his share of damage um, for the team, and so it is what it is. Uh, I'd say that's overall a pretty good team fight, but aside from the criticisms that I made. <clears throat> um, let's move on to here. So we got some... back up a little okay so we see a little fight going on over there so we're gonna get a third party in <clears throat> all right awesome and way to catch up and like way to use your utility to be in the fight that's really really good um, a lot of people would a lot of Pathfinders would maybe not burn that zip line and not burn that grapple. Um, I really, really appreciate how he's like with me in this fight, rather than being behind like a lot of Pathfinders might be, or like a lot of players might be. See, like he's right here with me, and so that's really, really good. Make sure you're looking to do that. I armor swap there. I just, I uh, drop my purple for a blue uh, right there. Probably would have been best if he just took his blue back. Um, but it is what it is. He's got a chance to heal, so it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> um, so I think we see that there's a guy isolated over here, so I go to try and take care of him. And I do, with his help. Oh, so it's a wraith. Okay, I see, so they portaled away. And so right now, um, something I want you to consider is, if you look at the map, um, I think there's a team over here, and there's a team like in the choke somewhere. Um, so we've got one team pinched with another team, and that's the way we want it. So we do not want to enter this choke, or we, we don't want to lose track of where people are, because we don't want to, uh, we want to do anything we can to prioritize not becoming that middle team, if that makes sense. We want to prioritize not becoming the team that, that gets pinched right here. Doesn't matter if we need to give up kills to prioritize that. Um, the last thing that we want to do is become that middle team, and so that's our absolute priority over kills. So right here, um, we don't know for certain, let me rewind just a little, we don't know for certain that there isn't a team in this left choke. Maybe we do because of audio and stuff. I'm not watching with audio right now, so maybe I'm a little bit out of context. But we do want to be extremely mindful of this choke and this right side choke when we burn our grapple to get in there. Um, just for the purpose of consistency, right? Because we are playing ranked. We do already have two KP or kill points. Um, the cap max is at six, if you don't know. And so I'm happy with where we're at right now. Um, we don't really need to... Uh, do anything crazy to um, get KP here. But then again, I'm watching without audio, so maybe I am a little bit out of context, but as you can see, there's another team right. So I would argue that there is an element of luck in him not dying here. Um, I would like to see him take it slightly slower, but it is what it is. I'm watching slightly out of context, so I might be wrong. All right, going for the loot. I would like to see him switch out his Havoc for Volt. I do think it's a better gun, but obviously it's personal preference. I just don't think a Havoc is better with a uh, turbo, without a turbocharger. All right. All right, we're gonna fast forward a little until we get some action. We're going to get a lot of action in here. So, uh, Right now, we obviously I fast forwarded, so I might be a little bit out of context in what I say. Um, but right now, the goal is to get an understanding of all the teams in the area. 
Usually the goal would be to not fight in this situation, but since I was doing a session with a client, I wanted to get as much fighting in as possible, so that uh, just so that we can improve his team fighting, because I think his map rotation and his uh, end game knowledge are good. So right here, I was looking mostly to improve his fight IQ and get a really good VOD with a lot of fighting. Um, usually we wouldn't with 2K we 2KP we would not look to fight in Hammond. But um, in this case, we are. So uh, we want to get an understanding of where all the teams are so we don't end up getting pinched. Um, and, yeah. and we also want to really stick together and just be ready for anything. As you can see, um, this fight is going to get extremely hectic very fast. And we want to, um, I don't know, I got a really nasty one clip there, I remember that. Um, we want to just emphasize playing smart and not dying here because there are so many teams and uh, and you'll see that we end up getting a little like like when whenever there's this many teams in this small of an area if you end up surviving there is honestly a little bit of luck involved every single time because there are so many teams um, and if you end up happening to get pinched which we are um, risking here we're, we're risking a pinch um, a lot like this is an extreme high chance of, of getting pinched right here so um, in risking that uh, we're obviously risking dying and so there's a little bit of luck involved in us not dying here I would have prioritized the armor swap right there I think he has LOS on those bins um, I 100% would have prioritized armor swaps he is MNK and he's got two armor swaps on the ground but I also do like the Phoenix kit. I just personally would have prioritized the armor swaps right there. Okay, good damage, good damage. I'm taking a battery back there. Big damage. More big damage. Good shots, good shots. Alright, awesome. He grabbed the Volt. That's what I was looking to see. It's a lot better. A little bit heavy on the uh, on the energy ammo, in my opinion. He's holding a little bit too much here. Um, because he's going to be running it as his secondary, obviously the R301 is going to be his primary. So I think that uh, he's definitely a little heavy on the... Uh, on the energy ammo. He wants to find as much light here as he possibly can and then rock either one to two, uh, either one or two stacks of energy ammo. Three, three at the absolute most if he's going to be using it a lot, but for me um, if I'm running R301 volt I usually look to carry one or two stacks. Um, if, it, if it was um, like a heavy gun I would literally only carry one stack, but since it is energy, energy ammo is more rare than heavy or light um, because less people carry it. And so um, I would be looking to run either one or two stacks. But with energy, I would run two stacks because it is quite rare to find. So let's fast forward a little. Yeah, we end up getting in a fight here. Teammate Rev Totems. Um, so for anyone who's wondering, this is a pretty stupid fight for us to take. Um, in this place, Energy Depot, um, it's not a fight I would recommend. Oh, I threw such a bad pad there, I remember that. Yeah, so really bad pad by me. Um, I want to obviously throw it more out in the open. Um, I think my teammate's body got in the way or something. I think that's why I threw such a bad pad. So, um... Yeah, this is a bad fight to take because it's such a high chance of a third party. It's right in the middle of the map, and I would not recommend fighting here ever um, in the middle of a ranked game. It's just not a smart place to fight, unless you roll your fight very, very quickly. Um, so there's um, absolutely an element of luck in us not getting third partied from behind in this fight. 
but like I said, we're, we're, we're going for as much footage as we can because this is a paid client. He's paying for my time. And so uh, we're going for as much footage as quickly as we can. All right, nice. Nice little white by us. Um, and for anyone who's wondering, yeah, this is his perspective. I'm playing on my burner. I'm AC Fire. Um, this is his perspective. Um, I don't think I recorded my perspective, unfortunately. So we're not going to get the opportunity to go over that, but um, we're mostly doing this for him uh, so he can see what he could do better. All right, we're going to fast forward to our next fight. Actually, we can rewind a little. So yeah, see, we hit a rev totem on this team. This is a really good rev totem because we've got our backs cleared. Um, if you look at our map, see, we've got the whole backs cleared um, for the most part, I think at least. Um, we know we pretty much know for a fact that no one's gonna come behind us So this is a really good rev totem by our random player um, and we towed him in and we uh, We go pretty crazy here. This is a good little fight All right, so right here, um, I want to go over his um, choice to hip fire rather ADS so with the R301 it's an assault rifle so the hip fire is much much has a much faster strafe speed than the ADS does, um, may, meaning for anyone who doesn't know, ADS means aiming down sights, and hip fire means when you're not aiming. So when you're hip firing with the R301, you have much faster strafe speed, meaning lateral movement speed. Um, whereas if you're aiming, you have um, much lower movement speed. And so if you are gonna choose to hip fire at this range, I want you to please emphasize abusing your strafe as much as you can um, so that you're actually making yourself a harder target to hit. Um, his strafe was a little bit weaker here and so I would prefer to see him aim down sights at that range if, if he's not going to be abusing the strafe. So as you can see here the strafe is honestly just a little bit weak when he uh, hit fires here in just a second. See the strafe is it's just a little weak. Um, I would prefer at that range to just um, aim down sights because he does end up missing a lot due to the hit fire. All right, let's see. So right here, the angles are pretty tough because um, we've got this hilly section. The hills are very spiky in Olympus. They're not well-rounded because they're artificial hills. And so, yeah, the, the angles are definitely a little bit sketchy on, on Olympus. And he's doing a really good job of funneling these players from the choke point. Um, because we know there's no one behind us and so he's doing a, a really really good job of, of like funneling Well, I sort of just go crazy up in the front line um, Because that's like you you really want to emphasize keeping everyone in front of you Which he's doing a really good job of um, And I, I'm not doing a good job of well. I, actually I am because I'm a really high level player and I, I can tell um, Like I, I had high game sense so I can afford to overextend um, in this situation. I just, I know what's going on. Um, but obviously you can never predict everything. So I, I am taking a small risk, but he, in that case, um, like 30 seconds ago in this clip, he was doing a really good job of what's called anchoring me. He was anchoring me in sort of more of a support role, just doing damage from back there and funneling players into me. Uh, he was doing an excellent job of that. So I was able to afford to overextend. That's the point I'm trying to make. Whereas if he just comes up and he goes crazy with me, um, we don't really know. Like someone might get behind us, someone might get to the side of us. Uh, he's he's filtering everyone into my line of sight and he's anchoring for me. That's what I'm trying to describe. If that doesn't make sense, feel free to ask in the comment section or whatever. So right here we got four teams left. We do need to be really high alert. Um, and just sort of take things slow. We got max KP. He's got two kills, seven assists. It maxes out at six kills or assists. So there's no need for us to get kills or assists at this point. Uh, we just want to take things nice and slow and not throw our game at this point. Just play to win. Really nice work with the digi threat. Uh, at this point, yeah, perfect grapple back. 
I would like to see it be even a little faster, ideally, um, but still a really, really good gravel back. So yeah, so here we're in Rev Totem, so you can afford to do basically anything you want. But at the same time, we do need to be very, very careful of someone getting behind that Rev Totem if we do get sent back. Um, and just, uh, once again, filtering everyone into our line of sight and trying to keep all the teams in front of us. So right here, I'm full healing, just slow healing. It ends up only being one guy, and so we end up getting a really easy win. Nice, good shots, good shots. Um, so, yeah, that's about all there is to it. That's the VOD review. Um, feel free to click the link in the description to go to my Fiverr page. Um, I've got a whole bunch of five-star reviews. Um, really good coach. Um, I'd love to work with you guys. And um, thanks for watching the video. I think that's about it. Also, uh, check out the link in the description. I'm going to link his YouTube channel and maybe his Twitch if I remember to. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching, um, bye.